sounds very average at the moment. You can get them in all sorts of different colours. So, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. These are wicked, wicked pickups. The black is the hot. So let's have a look inside the package with the fleal. This is the guitar I'm gonna put them in. Um, it sounds uh, it sounds very average at the moment. Of the overwound Alnico uh, pickups, I chose to get them in white. You can get them in all sorts of different colours, um, but I chose white because I think it's going to stand out very nicely. So, ooh. Right, wow. Okay. So they come kind of sealed like this. Uh, so, Fleur pickups. Now, I've heard fantastic things about these pickups. People have said they sound uh, very close to Seymour Duncan's, that they absolutely blow the Wilkinson equivalent out of the water, and see what they sound like, and compare them before and after what they sound like. And I'll probably compare them to one or two of my other guitars as well, because um, it would be very interesting just to see. See, look, that's strange, kind of, kind of come in, um, in cling film. I've never seen that before. I'm going to get it um, open. Oh, oh, now, I need to be a bit careful with this because I don't know if, <laughs> if these are, if these turn out to be terrible, they're going back. So I want to be careful with them. But um, I'm going to open it very ooh, very gently. Wow, it does look pretty cool, has to be said. If you imagine that. So I'll put it like that for now. It's funny, the magnets are actually pushing it off. I think that's going to look really, really cool. So yeah. Um, I'm going to keep going with this and um, I'm going to install them and we're going to do some sound tests. So that's the bridge. And you can hear that it's, it hasn't got a special, you know, an amount of clarity or uh, punch to the middle, to the bridge position. Stick it on neck. I've also noticed on the G string, um, there's a distinct um, drop in volume. The whole thing is a lot quieter than a Gibson. You know, the pickups are lower end sort of budget pickups and they're absolutely fine um, in isolation. Um, as soon as you start playing something else, you'll notice the difference. And just for fun, we will um, just test out my Gibson Les Paul um, versus this. I'm gonna leave the volume controls exactly as they are. So the volume staying exactly the same. I think you'll notice just how much louder um, and clearer the, uh, the Gibson is compared to this at the moment. Um, but hopefully we can change that. Okay, so this is the Gibson Les Paul. Um, it's got 490R, 490T uh, pickups. So quite highly regarded, but in this particular guitar, um, they do really raw if you want them to, or they can go really jazzy. Um, so let's just quickly hear what they sound like for the sake of comparison. And this is kind of the, I'm hoping to get a sound not that dissimilar um, from the Fleur pickups. Um, in the stag. Um, it'd be great just to at least have a bit more push, um, even if they can't be quite as clear and obviously as articulate as these. So I mean that's even on the um, on the neck, but I mean <laughs> So you get the idea, um, that's the bridge. Um, you know, I have to be a bit delicate with it because um, it's got so much sort of um, articulation in pickups, if you like, that um, it could get quite brittle if I push if I push it too hard. So yeah, it does sound really, really nice, this, and we'll see where we can get to with the floor pickups in the stag. I just wanted to point out, if you're using these, if you're gonna wire these up, um, the black is the hot, the green is the, um, is the ground, and the red and white one is if you're doing split coil. So if you haven't got a split coil, if you're not bothered with any of that stuff, um, you don't have to actually do anything with this, just leave it. 
Um, so really, it's these two you need to concern yourself with. Um, for example, in this guitar, um, I'd always advise if you're going to change um, pickups, take a few photographs of what you've already got in there. Um, so the ground on this one, actually the ground will go to the back of the pickup. So I'm going to remove this one here. Um, and the the black one, which is the um, the live, the, um, the hot, if you like, is actually going to go um, to this little nub on here. So I'm going to desolder these two. I will do something similar to this one too. So I'm going to remove all of that. And um, next time I see it, yeah, it's going to be all fleored up. Okay, so we're going to test these fleor pickups, um, which I've just put into my SG style guitar. Uh, we'll do that for the first time together. And um, yeah, see how it sounds. So this is bridge. <laughs> It's made a massive difference. Uh, it's the, the guitar is so much louder. Uh, all the volume settings on my amp are the same. Um, it just has so much more clarity and so much sense, more sensitivity to the way I'm playing with my fingers. Uh, we'll move to both. <laughs> position. Wow, um, the level of articulation is insane. and you can still hear so much of um, the clarity in the high notes. I would say, yeah, the Fleur pickups live up to all the hype. Um, I'm incredibly happy. Um, yeah, I uh, would would recommend these. Um, I'm not sponsored by Flea or anything like that. Um, I bought these with my own money, but um, I just like good gear. So um, these pickups really um, punch well above their weight. Um, they're really pretty superb, it has to be said. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. Um, I suppose one thing to do would be maybe to try a bit more gain. Um, yeah, that sounds pretty insane, but if I keep doing that, I think the neighbours might um, come knocking. So, um, yeah, it sounds pretty amazing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there'll be more videos on this. Um, I'll have to um, tame these and maybe put it through um, some kind of, um, I don't know, low voltage amp or something and give you more sort of gain settings on uh, in another video. But... Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, it sounds absolutely incredible. Um, I've got PRS's, Gibson's, etc., but I don't know if I've even got that much articulation in that. I mean, I probably have, let's be honest. My Gibson's and my PRS's are pretty amazing. Um, but this now sounds up there with those. Um, I'm amazed. These are wicked, wicked pickups. Um, so, yeah, if you're thinking about it, um, I'd say don't hesitate. Get on with it. Um, and um, yeah, leave comments and that sort of stuff. And if you need help installing these bad boys, because um, I won't lie, um, it was a little bit of a mission on this guitar because I had a real cat's cradle kind of spaghetti, uh, spaghetti junction of nightmare wires in the back of this. Um, it really was um, a bit of a challenge to, not because of the pickups, not because of replacing pickups. Normally that should be an easy job, but it can be more difficult depending on how it's been wired up in the first place. 
This one was a bit of a beast. It took me um, a little bit longer than I wanted to. It still wasn't that long. I mean, I'm talking sort of half an hour or something still to do it. It wasn't very long, um, but that's still even longer than I really wanted. Um, it should have been easier, but it was um, small wires, difficult, confined space to do it in the back of this. And um, yeah, so um, I'm more than happy to answer any queries you've got. So yeah, keep rocking, all that good stuff, and um, I'll see you next time.